Hello, my name is Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today I'll be diving into uh, something that needs a little bit more of my attention and that is my health, wellness, and fitness. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. I have in my Franken planner, of course, is I keep a month of my health um, and wellness planner. So this is the Spoonful of Faith cover with the guts from um, Heal From Within. So I pulled in January into my Franken planner, but I'll admit I haven't done a whole lot with it. Uh, I haven't even kind of decorated it yet. So I kind of want to get ahead for February. I am not going to do the month today. I'm actually going to do the first week of February. So it would be like the last week of January into February. And I did a little thing. I'll share that with you. So um, I'm going to pull out my weeks. And as you know, this was a planner that started in July of 2023. And I, <clears throat> excuse me, I had not used it, unfortunately. <laughs> so I may take those and filter those into the back and use them there. But, um, okay, so this is February. And of course, my February cover or currently page is in my Franken planner. So here's the month, which I have, I'm not doing today. I am going to do this, um, just not today. And then this is the week I'll be, I'll be working on for this video. So I'm going to pull this out. And let's, let's just kind of tuck that up there for a little bit. Okay, now for this, I tried a little thing. And I'm going to bring that out. Uh, but what I did was I used, I'm going to show you the sticker books I used because um, I'm not used to decorating a health and fitness planner or one that is um, health or, you know, everything has always been catch-all or business and um, that's just the way it was. So I'm very, I'm familiar with the layout, but I'm not very good with decorating it yet or knowing how to approach it. So this is kind of really new. I had done one back when there was Healthy Hero and I had done a few spreads in that um, with that sticker book. But uh, really kind of since then I haven't done it. So it's been fun to do this, but, um, and I like the challenge of the different blocks um, and different ways I can use them outside of the way I use my regular planner. So um, I've got a fun little thing going for that but these are the books I used I pulled in very little out of each I don't even remember if I pulled from here but zodiac and they're all happy planner stickers um, the stargazer the stargazer uh, planner girl which um, oh this was stargazer planner girl too there, there was two different years they came out and then Healthy Hero, of course, Planner Girl, uh, Work It Out Fitness sticker book, and then Fitness Don't Give Up. So I pulled a variety of stickers from each of these books. Now, as you know, I typically work right off the book. Like, I'll open it up and I'll plan it out as I go. Um, but I thought I'd do something a little different. And um, so here's my stickers. These are the ones I've used. I'm going to pull my papers back down here. Um, and, uh, we're going to talk about sort of how I plan on working with this. Staying hydrated with my fun little Starbucks cup. Love this color variation. That's a sidebar. <laughs> okay. So I did a little thing. Now, this particular week is, um... My birthday week I say birthday week because although my birthday is on one day I tend to try and milk it for a week <laughs> just just to be fun and different uh, so I call it my birthday week 
So that being said, I, you know, having been born in February, I wanted to kind of do my first week um, in a little bit of a purple vibe. And um, I love purple, which is kind of strange because most of my behind the designs is all pink. <laughs> it's just the way it is. But um, so I kind of wanted to do like this whole, you know, the Zodiac, Stargazer, you know, fitness, all things purple. And I don't feel like I can decorate many planners this year because my catch-all planner is already kind of pre-decorated. It's the Fresh Fields. Um, I could decorate a little bit of my business planner, but I'm trying to keep that really functional and maybe throw in a few things after I'm done writing. Um, and then there's, of course, my health planner. So I just... I want to dive in on this. I want to do this different um, layout and kind of play with that. So, long story short, let me move these over here for a minute. Okay. Long story short is I am um, trying out one of the suggestions that was made to me from a um, someone from the planner community. She watches my videos and I apologize. I do not remember her name. I'm going to look it up. She suggested, and I've heard of it, I've seen it, and I tried it once and it didn't really kind of work for me. But um, let me pull this over. She, su she suggested wax paper. So that's what I did. So look at this. I went ahead, <clears throat> assuming that I got everything lined up correctly. I had a little bit of a bubble in my paper. Um, I already decorated it. So now we're just going to put the stickers on. And I'm going to chit chat about a couple things related to this, kind of what I'm thinking, how I'm setting it up, that type of stuff. Um, I'm going to pull over my ruler because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need that. And my... Um, my tweezers. I'm going to bring over my mild liner. And I did bring over this because I may still add some more of this purple washi. It's just a purple skinny washi. Um, so, and then I wasn't sure if I cut one of these too short. So again, I just pulled this out in case I need it. So let me just dive right in. And then I'm going to talk about how I am, now the challenge is going to be taking it from here and getting it where I needed to on, on the actual paper. And hopefully I did everything correctly. So to start, I am going to start with the, um, uh, up here by the numbers, the day. I'm going to start with those because those are by far the biggest. Um, they kind of anchor the space. So, I was like, you know, I finished this and I was like, ooh, check me out. I did this on wax paper. <laughs> and then I was like, oh no, I have to now transfer it. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to be interesting. Now, some of these stickers, it, with the Happy Planner Fitness and Wellness um, planner setups, the sidebar isn't as big as in the traditional so some of the stickers I will likely have to trim down um, just because I found that they weren't fitting. There were a few I had to pull back out because um, they just, they were not going to fit in this spacing here. And actually I'll probably pull over my, I may grab my white out. We'll see. Okay, so this is the one that's going to be challenging because this is two stickers stuck down together. And I was going to make sure that I didn't cut off my gem at the top here. I think this is, you know, realigning one sticker is one thing, but when you have to do more than one, uh, that's a little bit more challenging. So I'm just going to make sure that I have it where I need it before my little gem sticks down like it just did. Um, and that's only because I'm layering the sticker. So if I hadn't layered the sticker, it would probably be fine. I should be okay. 
And it does filter over the, the date, but that's okay. Now I'm going to need to trim this sidebar down, the sticker, but I'm going to do that after I get the second one on. And that one is going to be this one here. So I'm going to pull this off. So that is the... And this is a multi-layered sticker. I hope everything went on straight. And this one may be more than a challenge to get down. So I'm going to get this down and I'm going to go across the top and then we're going to fill in the bottom. Um, so this one here I layered multiple times. <laughs> this should be covered. I think this will get covered enough. I hope. All right. So now comes the fun part. To get this on while getting the sticker square to the paper. Oh, that's right, I can't go all the way over. Right. Because I purposely set this so that I could, I wanna make sure my stickers are all lined up. I don't even know if this is straight. It's one of those things where because I just kind of jumped into this, um, we're gonna kinda see how it goes. I think it's good. Uh, this one I need to fix a smidge. I do think the square one's a little off alignment, but I don't think I can get it up. Let me see. I think it's pretty stuck because as I said I'm putting down multiple layers let's see if I can get this right I think I'm gonna have to leave it at this. It looks pretty straight on the back. I'm just gonna go with it. It is just stickers. Um, now, on this one here, <laughs> I was like filtering out my stickers, choosing which ones I wanted where and what. And as you can tell, I got paper on the back. So it should still stick down pretty okay. Um, just because it was I was near a sticker paper and it wasn't the the sticker side, so it kind of got stuck. Let me trim this stuff off so that I can um, not worry about it getting stuck to the desktop. So the thing I'm finding with my um, wellness planner is... You know, again, when you have multiple planners, you're, um, you already know you're going to have to write on them. Um, you have multiple planners you have to go back and fill in. So if you're struggling with a keeping up with a current planner, you probably don't want to add another one. Um, as you know from my last video, I did, I'm going to save this little strip here. I'm going to take this part off. And I'm going to just, I'm going to put it down here. I don't know if I'll use it, but I'll put it down there. Um, because sometimes if you add more, then it's just going to make you more frustrated. This, I think I cut the page a smidge, but that's okay. As long as it's cut. Let me do this one. Okay. And of course, these are my um, non-stick scissors, so it's really nice because it just falls right off. You just gotta make sure it doesn't fall onto your page. All right. So as you know from my last video, I added another planner to my lineup, and that is because um, I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of journaling this year. Um, unintentionally, it wasn't really what I thought I would be doing, but... Um, that's the way it's going to go because I have um, pulled in a goals journal 
basically. And that is going to help me, or at least that's the goal, to stay on track with my goals. It's going to kind of help me see where things may be falling off or... So I'm going to put this one here. Okay. So, as I was saying, you probably, you know, if you feel overwhelmed with one planner, you probably don't want to add another one. Now, I'm not saying I will always be 100% dedicated to writing on it, um, but it's my goal. I want to really focus in on my goals, and um, I think that'll help me to see where things are maybe falling off or where I need to improve and so forth. So, um, and again, with this one as well, I don't know that it'll be like that all the time, but I'm looking at leaving the bottom area open for the same thing, kind of like journaling. You know, where things are at the time and um, how well did I do? What can I improve upon? And, um, and there's lots of areas in this fitness um, goal that I need to focus in on and improve upon. Just recently, I have started to um, uh, walk with a friend. So we're walking every week now. And, and, you know, if you, social media or, you know, a, your job, we are all under, you know, the stress to get things done. And we all do a lot of sitting, me included. I'm not saying I'm not in that that bucket. So, um, and that's kind of what I'm hoping that I will improve upon with this is not only um, being more fit, you know, lose some weight. It's not terrible, but um, I could stand to lose some. So, you know, that'll help to curtail, obviously, health issues. So, you know, it's all good. It is really all good. And I'm looking forward to it. I just have to keep my mind in the game. I think that's more what I'm thinking of. I have to keep my mind in the game. Because if I don't, then that's when you tend to um, not be on your, your best, let's say. Like you might stray from where you're supposed to be. So I'm hoping by decorating these things, um, this planner spread and everything, <clears throat> excuse me, that it will help to keep me on track. So I'm just going to separate these pages. I did put a sticker between them. Oh, I should probably, all right, let me just use this. I don't want to cut my desktop when I take these papers apart. Okay. I've done that before, so I don't want to do that again. Okay, we were free and clear with the sticker. We are. All right. And then there was one over here I needed to trim ever so slightly. So, um, so anyhow, you know, I'm just looking forward to working in this planner and um, seeing how well I do, keeping up with the goals, um, and seeing how more active I can be. I need to get up more. I need to move more. I need to even get up while I'm working and stretch. Let me get this over in the sidebar. I do like the fact that the stickers come up off of here easily. Um, I am going to just try and use this more, but um, no guarantees. <laughs> so, you know, are you or have you, you know, drop me a comment. Are you working on a, like, fitness goals or health goals, you know, and what are they? How are you working it? How do you plan on um, achieving those goals and so forth? Drop me a comment. Talk to me. You know, it helps me to know um, I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone, but, you know, I'm just asking for 
some, you know, some of you to share if you're, if you're willing and, um, and maybe, you know, we can work on this together. So here's the funny thing. These little, so these are breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, just a little arrow. I ran out of them. So, and I don't on the weekends and it's not to say I won't try to, um, use this layout or, you know, the, the plan, let's say. But, um, I also know that on the weekends I tend to, that's when I tend to be worse, let's say. Um, you know, you're out and about, I might have extra coffee, which, you know, doesn't come from my coffee maker, which means it's probably more sugar than I need, you know. And so weekends are going to be interesting. So I, d I didn't worry about the fact that I didn't have enough to go around. This washi's challenging me today. And while, well, you know, getting this all on, I'm thinking of, we have, um, I think I've mentioned this, we're animal lovers, and we had been feeding this outdoor cat who had been coming around. We're still not sure if it's a stray or not, but um, he hasn't come around in a day and a half now, so I'm a little worried. I'm hoping he's at home with his person, um, but that's on my mind as well. So I think maybe after this, I will go out and maybe take a look for him. Um, I hope everything's okay. <laughs> I would not want to see anything happen to him. So that's been on my mind. And, uh, but I guess that's the opportunity to go walk, right? Take a little walk, get some fresh air. We're actually having a lot of rain where we are, so it's been um, it's flooding the creeks and things nearby. So what I'm going to do, I was originally debating about, because these come, with, and I've covered these up already, but they come with some headers in here for this box, which I didn't think I was going to use right away. I kind of haven't used it. Um, so really, I'm just kind of trying to set it up in a way that I think will be usable for me and then I can always change things as I go along. Obviously if I think on a on a week I think I'll use it then I can just leave it there. Um, but for this particular week I, I think I'm just trying to make sure that I use it. So this here I do want to trim a little off. So this is definitely, you know, I, as I said, I struggled with the, um, September, or September, listen to me. Oh my word. See, my brain is on this cat. Um, the January weeks, um, and just kind of in general filling it in. I don't know why it just, um, it was a struggle. So we'll see how well it goes now going into February. So this one was here. Um, I think now, you know, having all these different stickers from all the different books, having that wax paper, that was helpful. Um, I am going to look up that girl's name and I will mention her the next time I am on. And, uh, yeah, this one's even a little big for the box. Um, and I'll mention her name because she did mention it to me. And I remember trying this once. Oh, you know what it was? I think I used, <laughs> I think I accidentally used parchment paper. And I'm like, you know, these things are not sticking. This is not working. <laughs> um, I didn't disbelieve her. I just... I, I figured there was something I was doing wrong. And sure enough, it was the fact that I was using the wrong paper. But since then, I hadn't really um, brought it back out to use it either. Like to try it with the real paper. Correct paper, I should say, not the real paper. So um, I'm liking it. 
It does make it way, way easier when you have all these different stickers. So on my weeks, I mean, I have these things I'll track. Uh, I have to kind of work into this whole um, workout, fitness, pay attention to that type of stuff thing. I am going to have to work into that just because I'm not used to it. So I don't tend to think of it. Um, so that is something I will have to work on going into February because as you know, I am working on all of the um, the goals, and those included this fitness. Um, so we'll be working on that. I'll be working on that, I should say. And um, and then I get to use the stickers. So you know, it isn't anything like crazy off. You know, like wow, I did this with use the stickers but I'm just literally using the stickers and that's a good thing so I'm just peeling off my stickers from the wax paper off on the side here let's see this was Monday I'm leaving the nourish section for last. There's a lot of little stickers in there. And let's see, we're gonna go over here. So I can't say I have, you know, any master plan for how to I'm going to approach this other than I just need to maybe do it, maybe go into it first thing in the morning, just like I do with my business or work planner. Um, <clears throat> maybe I can even put a note in my work planner at a specific time, whether it be the morning, mid-afternoon or whatever, to um, go in and do my health planner. I mean, health and fitness are kind of the same thing in a way, um, in my eyes anyway. So I'm thinking that, oops, that's not right. Trying to get these in the same, I was trying not to make them crooked. I'm trying to get them, you know, to be kind of lined up as best as possible. <coughs> Um, so anyhow, in my eyes, it's kind of the same thing, but, um, I can see where some differences in them might occur, but for me, I would do them all. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and do them all on one spread. I want to keep health, you know, the eating, the fitness, the mental health, all of that in one spread or in one planner. Uh, to me, that just makes more sense. Let's see, I have one more arm day. Let's see, that would go here. All right. So, we have a big sticker over here. And I think... I'm going to do it that way. I love the variation of the color. So I was starting out wanting to do all purple, and then I was like, no, I'll do um, a mixture. So then that's kind of when I did, let me first do something else first. Um, so that's when I kind of mix the two colors. So what I want to do, you know, when it comes to these breakfast, lunch, dinner, I do have a snack in there. I don't, as a rule, have snacks for the most part. I don't even really have lunch half the time. Um, but I'm going to put them in there because I do still have them occasionally. Sometimes my, you know, guilty pleasure is the chocolate. You know, you have a little piece of chocolate, but that little piece of chocolate is still a piece of chocolate. 
So how I utilize this area, I don't know if, you know, it will always have something on it. Um, but I'm going to put them in here. We're going to see how it goes. But these little arrows are quite small. You got to really get a grasp on them. <laughs> And I wasn't sure how much space I was going to have. I suppose if I have snacks at any point, it's usually on a weekend. <clears throat> it really depends on what I'm doing. You know, if I'm out running around, I may not eat as good as if I was at home. Let's see. Okay. Yes, those little arrows are quite challenging. So, I think what I'll do is I'll start, I'll go backward and start with Sunday and we'll go that way. So, when it comes to water, I did pull a, I'm going to use my ruler for this. I did pull um, these little water bottles to keep track. I am pretty good about drinking water. I'm actually going to do it this way. Um, so, you know, I'm not too worried about that. But what I want to do is still record it. And then let's get this one. And I usually will drink out of that Starbucks cup that I showed you. And from there... Um, I know how much I'm drinking. All right, now. This one is going to be the challenge because it has the water bottle on it, but it's kind of angled. But I want to kind of keep it hopefully in the same orientation across the whole week. So therein is my challenge. Now, when I do the week, or not the week, sorry about that, the month, when I do the month set up, again, it won't be, um, you know, oops, wrong orientation. Um, it won't be as... Uh, not filled in, but I won't have as much decoration. I Now, my goals are um, to incorporate more of this health and so forth. I would like to get to the point of doing like maybe cardio or something. So I'm going to kind of put in a little... Uh, in the monthly plan, like kind of like a tickler to, you know, do either stretching or um, some maybe 10 minute cardio, just something, um, especially if it's not on the day. Now, I only am scheduled to walk one day a week. That's outside of the house. So um, I'm just using this to measure. To keep measuring although I could use I'm I have this over here I think I'd be good um, so I'm kind of that's my thought process with my month for this is going to be just that it's going to be let me make sure I get this orientation correct um, it's gonna be that place where I can write those down like just a quick so I won't use my month as much as my week, if that makes any sense. And so right now that's my plan. Crossing my fingers, it goes well. Um, and like I said, I'm not used to decorating a health planner, so this is gonna be interesting and fun. I do think, you know, it's gonna kind of be uh, the same as decorating a vertical. I just say what I say because I'm not used to it. I haven't done much of it. Um, so it'll be interesting, but in the same respect, it's gonna be 
might be challenging for me. So that's why I kind of tried that wax paper thing this time around. I don't think my bottles are totally lined the straight same way, but we're going to go with what we got. This is just to keep it lined up. Um, and so I know what goes where. Now, now comes the challenge of all these little arrows. Um, so what I may do, because I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get them all in the same, like, line, if that makes any sense. Um, so what I may do at this point is I will... Give you some music and I will get down to business and then we'll, I'll pick up once I get down all of these stickers. Be right back. You'll see what I'm doing, but I'm going to fast forward it for you. Okay, so I got them all on there, I think. They should be secured. Alrighty. So, it worked. I like the wax paper. Um, I do have this little strip of the box, but I don't think I really have anywhere I can put it. Might as well use it in this... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to put it here. And then I will decide on something to use it for. Okay, so I have used the wax paper. I have used the stickers. I have used the washi. I'm all set up for the first week of from January into February. I'm loving all this purple. Okay, as you can tell, I ran out of a, a water bottle. So I am going to highlight these sections over here, but I'm thinking I'm going to bring in a blue because I feel like maybe it's too much purple. Okay, which I'm not really sure that's a fair assessment, too much purple. Is that even possible? So I think this is the lighter color. Let's see. Um, let me just do a quick test of this. Here we go. All right. I'm just trying to kind of match the blue that is, I think this is more like a periwinkle. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the other one. Let's use this one. All right. And then I'll kind of just show you quickly the month. I haven't set it up, but I'll show you quickly the month. And then we can um, talk about the what I'm thinking of for it. So I'm just going to kind of give this a little swash of color. And then I think I'm going to do the same up top for the day of the week. Now I may come back, um, you know, during the week or during another video, you know, maybe show you what I've done thus far. I don't know. I mean, this is kind of my first week test, I should say. So I don't know how much I will show until I actually have it finished and I know what I'm doing. Um, this one little sticker keeps coming up. Let's get this back in the book. And then let's talk a little bit about the month and what I'm thinking. So February. Here. 
And these will be transferred over to my Franken planner. Um, now, when I do, okay, so let's, let me just quickly show you this now. So, um, I'm planning on over here with my focus, you know, just show you, maybe type writing in, uh, like what my focus is for that week, whether it be walk more or stretch, get up and stretch more from the computer. So I'm just, it's kind of just a little note over here. These are kind of self-explanatory. I'm going to use them as they are over here, except for down in this bottom box. I think down here, it's going to remain open at the moment for me to kind of jot in, you know, wins or, you know, whatnot. So that's kind of where I'm thinking with this bottom. And then, you know, I'll come back and share what I've got when it's finished. Um, and then here's my, I called it workout, but it's really my walk day um, with my friend. So, and then Sunday, I plan to try and rest because let's be real, I'm not working today. Not working out today. All right, so my month. So I know for a fact that um, in the month, I'm only going to try and write down what I'm thinking of focusing on for that day. And it's not going to be something I stick to wholeheartedly, meaning I'm going to put it in there. And when that time permits, I will do that if I can. Um, I'm planning on this here says list three things you love about yourself and why. I'm probably going to use this for a different reason over here. Um, but that will be when I come out and plan this. And then um, I will have certain stickers that I will put in after the month or after that week has gone by. Like if it was a good week, you did everything you said or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, or maybe try harder because you didn't really meet your goals last week. And then um, it's probably on the month spread that I'll also track my weight. So that also will be on the spread. So um, that's to come, but for now, I am already ahead of the game for January, February, and I'm looking forward to using this. It kind of looks fun, and I love the purple, of course, because I love purple. So, um, I hope I have inspired you to do something creative today and every day, and that you create a beautiful life one plan at a time. Thank you for watching.